Hello, and welcome to Test Complete, an automated testing tool for web, desktop, and mobile applications. This video explains how to create verification commands, also called checkpoints, in Test Complete. Checkpoints are a critical aspect of software testing. They work without user interaction and help you automatically ensure the tested application works as expected. You may need different check types in your tests. For example, you may need to check if a control has expected data or whether the tested application displays an expected image, or if a report file matches its baseline copy. TestComplete offers a number of checkpoint commands for typical verification. You can create them in keyword tests and test scripts. If you use keyword tests, you can find checkpoints here. If you don't know which command to use, add checkpoint wizard to your test. First, you need to choose what you would like to check. This checkpoint is the most frequently used one. It helps you check properties of a control or window like text, position, width, and height, and many others. Let's select it. On the next page, you point to the window or control to be checked. Now, you need to select the properties to be checked. You can verify one or multiple properties at a time. Let's change settings for the content text property. We will check if the property starts with this value. By default, the page displays only a few of the available properties of the selected control. TestComplete detects the control's type and shows you the most useful properties. If needed, you can select other properties from those that are available to the test engine. Let's enter some invalid values here to get a failed checkpoint. OK. After you click Finish, TestComplete will create a checkpoint for every selected property. Now, if you launch your test, it will run verifications automatically. You can see the checkpoint results in the test log. This checkpoint passed, and this one failed. A failed checkpoint fails the entire test. Here, you can see detailed information on the checkpoint, the verified property, condition, expected, and actual values. On the Picture tab, you can see the object that was checked. The checkpoint we've created works in a keyword test. Now let's create one more checkpoint and add it to a test script. To do this, click this button on the toolbar. Let's create a region checkpoint. It compares two images pixel by pixel and reports about differences between them. The word region in its name is used as a synonym for image. It indicates that a checkpoint can compare arbitrary screen regions. Now we need to select the window, control, or screen region to check. On this page, you can specify the comparison mask to exclude certain image areas from comparison. We will not use masks in our example, so we're going to the next page. Here, you can specify an acceptable difference between compared images, the number of different pixels, and possible differences in color. Let's keep default values and close the wizard. TestComplete displays the created checkpoint code that you can copy to the test script. Before we run the test, let's look at the stores item in your test project. It's a repository of baseline images, files, and other data that your checkpoints use. TestComplete captured the image for the region checkpoint we created. The checkpoint will use it for comparison. Let's run the test now. Here is the checkpoint we created, and it passed. And this is some other checkpoint that was added to the code earlier, but it failed. In this picture panel, you can see the actual and expected images. And you can click this button to view the differences between images. So far, we've created checkpoints at design time. With TestComplete, you can also do this during test recording. One way to create a checkpoint is to click this button on the recording toolbar. Another way is to use quick checkpoints. Hover the mouse pointer over the desired object. Click this button to view auto suggestions for checkpoints. Select a checkpoint to create. And if you stop recording, you will see the checkpoint in your test. This brief checkpoint overview is over. Thank you for watching. To learn more, please take advantage of our documentation, videos, and online community at smartbear.com forward slash support.